Hey guys, it's Elias. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. If you see behind me, we have the Honda Prelude, and unfortunately, I had to ask for some help to finish my damn race car. I know I wanted to build the car by myself and do it all myself, but sometimes you have to realize that you're just not going to be able to get everything done on time without some professional help. And here we are, we got a nice little garage with a lift. We got my man Gio back there, he's an awesome mechanic. We'll be seeing more of him as he uh, builds things for me. And so today we're doing a bunch of things. Let's go over it. First thing we gotta do is of course the motor mounts. I changed the front one, but the other three do need to be changed. That motor is moving around like crazy. I have an ABS sensor right here. My driver's side rear sensor is all mangled up and it's shorting out. So I'm going to replace it with, with this thing right here. I got my ground control. So these are awesome springs. I'll do a full review when we get them on the car. They completely change the way the car drives and it's really nice to have these available. With uh, AGX shocks of course as you can see right there. Brand new shocks that are going to go with the ground controls. Um, the KYB AGX shocks. Uh, we got some more KYB uh, suspension, new suspension bushings and mounts. We're going to install that. And then, of course, you've seen this before my Duralast GT brake pads. That's what we're going to use. If you take a look up here, not for the Prelude, but Geo, my mechanic, does custom fabrication. He makes these awesome intracoolers or radiators out of these gigantic blocks. He'll make his own end tank, he'll weld it up for you. Uh, he does a lot of race cars. Let's take a look at one he's building right now. Take a look at this little monster right here. So as you can tell, it is a turbo setup. We got a small Mishimoto radiator right there. And this is all custom work. He does it all himself. And this thing is used for drag racing, as you can see. I'll show you guys the tires here. Big fat radials with small tires in the back. Not a big fan of uh, front wheel drive drag racing, but uh, when you can get it fast, why not do it, right? There's a turbo right down there. As you guys can see, not a small one either, pretty big. And a lot of custom work on this thing. Anyway, back to the Prelude builds. We got some silicone hoses here we're going to be putting in of course the Mishimoto radiator you guys remember my stock radiator was leaking so I had to get it upgraded immediately and here it is we got a Mishimoto radiator ready to go in it's about to go in right now actually pretty fast Alright, so we're halfway through. We did the motor mounts, or they did the motor mounts. Uh, we put in the radiator. Radiator's all set, all done. Pretty easy to do. They did a pretty good, did a pretty good job of doing it. And next up, we're going to be doing the suspension. So that the coilovers and the shocks. So let me show you guys what I got. Since this is budget racing, I didn't want to get the most expensive stuff, but I didn't want to cheap out either. So I got ground control using IBAC shocks. You got a really good solution to make your own coilovers. And then you can get any kind of shocks you want. You can get Kony, you can get KYB. I ended up with KYB AGX, which worked really well. I got some new bushings for the rear, since my rear bushings were uh, making some noise. And we sure you're good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, have these guys install it.
Espera que se arregle un. Pásame aquí ya pese si te quedas donde que salió por la mano, no me equivoco. Sí. Up and down, baby. Up and down. <laughs> Old Installing the ABS sensor since that one, the old one had a short net. Let me show you where the short is on the old one. 